uh, had one of the longest streaks of the best results of any character in this game. Still considered one of the strongest characters in this game, but we're gonna see him paired up with Sora, a character often described as very strong against big bodied characters. Let's see how Rob is gonna fight his way to uh, Sora and his friends with the great conversion. Oh, instantly see those Nair conversions. They're so strong that 53% on deal without an answer so far. All right, folks, I hope you're excited to see some Twitter combos because they're coming in spades. DDP, though, doing a great job of racking on this percent. Hill now trying to find their opening. Good up air. And, and that's kind of a hard position against Rob. Just getting stuck on the black hole with the up tilt. That's so dangerous to, to, to be stuck in there. Uh, but currently, DTP, oh, jumping actually over the gyro just to get the freeze in. It's not going to lead to a KO, but it is going to lead to stage position here. It is going to be Hill at the latch and a great backer going to secure the KO. Gyro was still on stage while trying to throw it on again, but it is not going to be the okay, case. And now we see DTP instantly go through with this advantage with 27% already on the counter and only 78 on their side. Back through there by Dill. Let's see what. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like Sora, of course, with very flexible recovery. Yeah. Hard to edge guard sometimes. Very. I was. But you know what? If any character is going to do it, Rob definitely has that capability. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suppose so. If you have a spike like that, yeah. I can imagine that should be a piece of cake. But first, you need to be in a position where you are able to edge guard. Gets the first hit of the up smash, but not the second. Very unfortunate for Dill, who is still in a very bad position, might I add. 92% on their second stock, and still DTP's first stock. That's crazy. Yeah, very intimidating situation to be in, just given that Sora could really convert any of those near ones or down tilts into some pretty solid kill confirms. All right. Oh, good snipe there by Dill, getting it done with the neutral B. Now just waiting your time out. Gyro off the stage. Great push it back there. And again, just flying up to just throwing it anywhere. But at Rob, keeping the gyro out of action for so long. But the charts up smash. Not going to be the KO. No sweet spot. But the gyro now in the hands of DTP. Okay, bit of a misposition there. Was back face one not intending to. And now it is going to be Dale pushing this advantage forward. Rob has the potential to stake stocks early if the opponent is off stage, but the backer is going to send Dill off stage. Almost getting a frame trap with an up air, but not going to be enough. Great job by Dill, just trying to remain patient, not walk into anything by you know, getting hit by either a neutral beat from Sora or, yep, those air ones. Ah. Yeah, those are the things that are just so tough to avoid because Sora could just really convert out of anything. Like, for instance, I'm I'm seeing these neutral bees converting into so much by Sora, which I typically don't see that often. Yeah, that neutral bee has the, the ability to be, like, very plus on hit. And you usually see, uh, like, dash attack, maybe? But yeah. not these, like, full strings out of them. Right. And, and DTP making the fullest use out of that, but the advantage has been slowing down very slowly. We see 110% here for DTP. Gets the up tilt into the up man, and this is going to be the KO even with good DI. And now we are in an almost equal last stock situation. Meanwhile, the, or, or while earlier, the situation looked a whole lot worse for Dill. Absolutely. Dill just stayed reserved and continuing to play the matchup as he should. Just try to stay away from those combinations as much as you can from Sora. And just try to tack on your damage like Rob is doing right now. A little good Z drop there. Ooh, almost. Uh oh, uh oh. Sora buttons. Yeah. They are <laughs> very effective at just actually trapping you in general, even if you air those. It's not going to be enough for the great up smash. This time hitting the tipper hitbox can be enough to send DTP in a victory for game number one. Very nicely done there by DDP. This is my first time seeing them, but they are so consistent with landing those Sora strings. And I think just Dill was having some difficulty with trying to, one, SDI out of them, but also just like really try to kind of play catch up, right? After yeah. taking on so much damage, uh, you're kind of on the back foot. And, and then almost anything, any conversion can kill you from Sora. So uh, very nicely done by DDP. Those back airs were at ledge were fantastic. Beautiful. And his use, I was going to say, their use of counter off stage yeah. was very impressive. Uh, countering the gyro every time and 
using Sora's ability to like after the counter kind of float away and then mm. kind of inch back closer, uh, really making it tough to follow up anything off stage after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it, you saw it, it happened on stage one time as well, and it, it helps that Sora doesn't hit the gyro back because that would yeah. be a lot of trouble. Usually counters oh, tend true. to do that, yeah. but not having the gyro sent back but still having it as your own due to yeah. the counter is a very strong position. All right, Town of City. We are in a very, very big stage at this point. Very uh, close blast signs to the side. Let's see if Dale can make a revenge for game number one because it was looking a lot closer in the end. Right. Definitely a very smart counter pick there by Bill. So are we gonna see? Ooh, as much as often as Sora gets those uh, crazy conversions, it kind of doesn't matter if Rob is at 150, 160 percent because at any moment he could just get back throwed from ledge on stage into rotor arms. Or the Nair could get countered, and it, you see how far he went just out of Nair at 30. I'm surprised we're not getting crazier offstage interactions, <laughs> but maybe, maybe we're in store for it. Um, we're at an even game pretty much right here, and DDP is playing lights out, very strong. Dill, one of our best, for yeah. sure, in New York City, so if Dill goes down here, it would be very crazy. It is just still wearing squares for people that got here, are they here for a reason, and there, one, two, into the up smash. Classic conversion, he's gonna send Dill out of there for a stock. Oh, watch out. Oh, very nice recovery there by DDP. Very scary situation, but DDP not not caring at all. But hey, Dill said, you know what else I don't care about? Your ability to counteract this up smash because you're just gonna eat it. I mean, I mean, it's it's so fast. Sometimes yeah. you could just throw it out. But oh, this is another scary situation. You said uh, uh, I'm wondering why we're not seeing these more offstage interactions and on Town of City especially. And those are insanely scary. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the count, These just counters! Jumping into the gyro with the counter. Very interesting util utilization of counter and neutral. Like, I don't see many Sora's kind of doing that. Okay. Good damage here for DTP. Getting the Nair loops. Whoa. That was insane. Getting, what was it, four or five Nair loops in a row into the up smash. That's a statement. That's going on Twitter.com. For folks. sure. Please sure to follow at DTP26 <laughs> for the clip later. But, uh, wow, that was wild. Hey, hey, you thought Dale was going to be the one with Twitter clips today. Oh, speaking of, oh. we get the rotor horse off stage. Said, F your Twitter clips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to get the kill. He's just going to post them oh both at the goodness. same time yeah, after this game. <laughs> yeah. Just the meme of, like, just not caring. Yeah. We do not care. <laughs> All right, this is a very scary situation for DDP because they know that if Dill takes this game, that it's going to be a very toughly, a very closely contested game three. So, great patience by Dill, find their openings. Very nice, good grab. Oh, uh, we are in a decent position. You saw the Roto arm in the second stock, and it could as well be the final hit for that last stock for the first half of the land. Oh, expecting the neutral once the counter that, but DTP not expecting the air dodge there, and it means that Dale's gonna get to the ground safely. She is now in a bad position after the Fandaga. 85%. Gyro in the hands of DTP, which means there is no new one to spawn, but Dale quickly recovering it. Very smart use of the up air as they made it back to ledge because still was definitely looking for that spike. All right, we're trying to figure out who's gonna make a mistake first. Yeah. Pretty much less in situation <laughs> for both characters. Yeah, they both have very fast options to confirm into their kill options. Sora with a Nair and Rob with a down tilt. Oh, but that's a re grab. Danger position here. Has to recover high. Very smart. <coughs> you gotta you gotta try to avoid those back airs at ledge that DDP was landing during the whole set pretty much. Okay, good center. Oh, doesn't actually land on the stage. I was so afraid that that was gonna happen. Ooh, missed times the down air, but all we need is one grab here for Dill. And it should be lights out. Oh, good forward there. Ooh. Oh, the snipe! Nicely done by Dill. Mm -hmm. He's pressing a button too much to get out of this advantage. I mean, yeah. it's yeah, logical. You don't know what the air is there, but it's it's kind of unfortunate that you have to to press something at that point for yourself. Yeah, and you know, typically we would see the counter come out off stage, and you know, you would assume that maybe that would have been a little more impactful. But there, in that moment, they didn't use it. But hey, that clip right there, that sequence by Sora, <laughs> that is everything you practice in the lab. 
and he and they converted it off stage. Mm -hmm. But then immediate answer by Dill, very nicely done. But what competitive games both these mm -hmm. both games were? Yeah. I mean, very close in both aspects, and then just gets the snipe. So, all right, where are we headed? We're going to a small battlefield. It looks like this is going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Game three situation, getting close to the end of pools for both of these contestants. Yes, and we are now on the smallest stage we have seen so far in this set. We have uh, PS2, I believe, and we have Tau, and now we are in a very scrappy stage. Uh, I, I suppose that Rob really likes this in this situation, but it is going to be DTP's counterpick to get back here and show what's up. Oh my god, that is going to be 81% on deal already. Oh, that was nice. Got to recover high there to try to avoid all those buttons by uh, by Sora, but look out for the back ears, uh, back ears here. Yeah, yeah, and that up smash, such yeah. a man as if you wanted to land. Big hitbox goes through the platform, but Dill smartly avoiding. Actually, the gyro saving the TTP's oh. life there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. that was beautifully done, baiting out the roll and then punishing it with the nair, the nair one into the up smash. Nicely done there by uh, TTP. With a healthy, you know, a healthy stop still. So let's see if we can get some more conversions. Good up there, there by Dill, good answer. We haven't seen that with those down airs by Sora, but hey. The one we, time it's getting used. Yeah, the one time it got used. <laughs> and maybe that's why they don't come out as much. <laughs> okay, but we are still in a game three situation. It's going very back and forth, I believe. But it's just who gets the opening and who gets the damage. That should be the KO. Oh my goodness. Another one. And you see Dale smiling. She, she respects it. You know? <laughs> Sometimes you just have to respect it. Are we sure we're watching Sora right now? Was that not Super Mario right there? <laughs> oh my word. Oh, we are continuing. Yeah, this is the, this is the, the optimal Sora we're all scared of. This, this hyper ladder oh machine. Goodness. Yeah. And we're starting to see it come out in droves. You know, definitely some Sora players making waves to Meimei out of Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Sora has a secondary, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Meister has a secondary Sora. So maybe we see that tonight, who knows? And these spells to keep yeah. Dill on the ledge. So hard to get out of 70% of DTP. A bit away from KO percentage. To keep, uh, maybe a grab, but it is going to be Dill here in a dangerous position. Gets the fire. Fandaga going to go very low. But it is going to be a quick recovery from DTP. And these upstate situations, you wanted them. They are here. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely here. And we are getting. You know, very close to just uh, one option killing, and there we go. Dill being sent into the loser's bracket early by DTP, and um, DDP, I'm very curious to see how far they're making in this bracket. Definitely New York City gets a lot of practice against mm -hmm. Sora being uh, by the hand of Helper. Um, oh, that was funny. Helping hand, <laughs> Helper. Uh, anyway, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, great, great conversions here by DTP this whole third game and pretty much the whole set. Mm -hmm. uh, actually very scary to see an optimized Sora. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, it, it just means like it's, it's touch, touch of death over and over again. We see yep. there was a Nair at 40. At, at, at 40. A Nair, a Nair at 40. Can I reset that, Can please? We backwards, Can we go please? back to the, next, was, the last was, clip? Oh, there it is. Just look. Okay. This is the percentage we're at. It is 49%. Can you, can you take a look at this? 49%. Oof. You are dead. <laughs> Bye. You, good, good night. You are dead. <laughs> we will see you later. And Nair one, Nair two, so great. And then a double Down jump tilt and right that, here was perfect. And then the double jump upper actually that really helped Sora get up there. And yeah, the, uh, that's just the end of the story. I did that. Great, great story. Very nicely done there by DDP and great match again. And hey, I think that's the uh, that's the end of our block here. I think so. Yeah. And oh. Whoa. What are we oh. looking at here? Well, we're, I don't know what we're looking at. I think it's... Oh, it's the IDJ I was talking about. Oh, the instant double <laughs> yeah, jump yeah. happening right IDJ there. IDJ upper is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then right into the up beat. Yep. And you're dead. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs> yep, yep. But as we say goodbye to Dill's second stock, I yeah. think we also have to say... Uh, goodbye for now. Yes, uh, yes. We have got, are going to have a caster switch as we go into Pool B. Yes. Uh, my name is Dagwood. I'm here with Contraband, and it has been an absolute pleasure casting with you. Likewise. <coughs> Thank you so much for visiting us here in NYC. Enjoy the rest of your time here, and y'all, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later.